Welcome to St. Croix. Yeah, don't worry about the rest. It's fine, sorry, but what is wrong with people? They are oblivious to where they are in space and time. Stopping and talking and holding up stuff. I sound like a grump, I know, but it's true. Just had the breakfast in the Windjammer and the maitre d' of the Windjammer, the head waiter came on and asked people to uh, enjoy their breakfast but to uh, kindly vacate their table once they've done to make room for their people. I'm thinking, I was, he was just saying get the you know what out because people just hang around. This place is packed. It's not built, although it is built for full capacity, it's not built for full capacity of people today I guess, I don't know. Very odd. I've never seen any wind jammers so packed with a lack of space and tables. But we managed to procure a small table by the door, which we like. And I can see uh, an island in the distance, so we should be coming up to St. Croix or St. Thomas here very shortly. Here's what it looks like right now, and it's quiet right now. This is the fruit stand up front here. That's why that's quiet. But if you go further back, you won't find a table. And the 10 seconds ago, it was just like a crowd of people just standing around. Happy cruising. But in saying that it's busy, usually, there's a decent selection, lots of fruit, usually, yogurts, cereals, just in this one little spot, and grapefruit, milk, fruit salads. It's good there. Coming to the more congested, what is usually congested, if coffee station, juice, apple juice, water, bread station, oatmeal and grits, toppings for that. And both of these sides usually the same, so you get your meats and cheeses, some toppings for some pancakes. French toast, waffles, maple syrup, your bread stations, donuts. Danishes, muffins. More seating out here. This is where it's full. And this side the same as the other side you got uh, Topics for your French toast, biscuits, waffles, pancakes. We do have a nice sticky bun over here. Almost done. Avocado toast. And bagel with salmon. Smoked salmon. Get some. Scrambled eggs. Those were potatoes. You need to refill them. Sausages, two kinds. Fried tomatoes and really super crispy bacon. Boiled eggs. Glazed ham. And then this side is just the basic of the same. Ash brown sausages, eggs. Toppings for your bagels. And then they have an omelet station or a fresh egg station also. It looks like they maybe make some uh, waffles fresh here. I didn't order one of those. I have tried the eggs though. They worked out well. And then this side, uh, the German is exactly the same. And this is when it's not busy, just so you know. I'm not trying to complain. I'm just saying it's busy. The food is actually quite good. Just take it to your seat. Get your seat first. Then go back to your seat with your hot food first. Don't waste time walking around like I'm doing. But I've already eaten my hot food. Juice stations and coffee stations. And if you find that these stations are busy, oh, here's some bananas and apples. 
the sign these stations are busy, if you sit by this door, just go out this door here, around the corner by the pool deck, right by the ice cream machine, there's another coffee station right there. That's a little bit of a tip. And then they also have the Coca-Cola freestyle machines here. And this is a good seat right here, lots of airflow. And I'm gonna finish my fruit salad. We have a nice view. Oh, St. Croix. Good morning, St. Croix. No idea, Ryan. Right All right, on our way. Gonna head off the ship in St. Croix, not St. Kitts, and try to find a beach. Beach? Beach. Down to deck one. Welcome to St. Croix. Oh, what a difference in temperature when you walk out the door. I think it just rained. It just rained? Yeah, don't worry about the rest of this, it's fine. I'm sorry, but what is wrong with people? They are oblivious to where they are in space and time. Stopping and talking and holding up stuff. I sound like a grump, I know, but it's true. It's true. I want my own super yacht. I could turn this into a super yacht. Just kick all the other 2,000 people off and have my friends on. You guys can come because you're my friends. I saw a sea turtle down here earlier today. Oh dear. People, be aware of who is around you. Look how beautiful this is. I'll just occupy my mind over here. Ah, the ocean. There we go, love. Away from the crowds. Seriously, there are people like sitting on the stairs, playing with their phones. People are trying to get out, holding up the lines. Oh, I have to go back to my room and stopping with their party of 10. People, etiquette, it's not that hard. I see beach there. I heard there's a little beach there. I heard there's a little beach further down too, over there somewhere. We were gonna go that way. So I heard there was a beach bar that way, but the beaches don't look that good over there, but we'll find out. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna let you know. We're gonna try to have fun. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun with Jane. Fun with Phil and Jane. Phil CSC and St. Croix.
divers out here. Water sports. Oh, it's warm now. Mm -hmm. Holy heat wave. I noticed that up since we walked out. That's where I wanted to go down there. But if you pass that Peary place, there's supposed to be a, it's just like a small beach area all along that strip. That's the national park or state park way out there. Okay, let's get our orientation. We're getting orientated and we'll figure out where we're going. Chickens! Papa? Hey. And this is the way out. And we're out. Pretty. Very colonial and pretty. What's that? Oh, I saw some of these guys out on the ship this morning. Sea turtles, keep an eye open. Looks like there are three different kinds. Hawk, leatherback, and green. shopping, local stuff, which is nice to see. Looks fairly clean too. Pretty, very pretty. So we came out the ship there, down the pier, came out the door there, and we turn right, and we're off to find a place to spend some time down here. Chickens, roosters. Hey, bud. I'm gonna walk off the beaten path, see what's down here. Look how clear the water is. Looks very volcanic down here. This is like the wall from the Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> Hopefully not. Ah. And there's a temperature drop. We're done. There's a crab. Right there. Well, there's tons of them over here. Little crabby friends. I'll never get up there. This is just a couple of minutes from the port. You could even swim here, I would think. It looks sandy. We found a shady spot to have a beer. Very humid, no complaints. Four inches of snow at home, right? From what we saw, a lot of wind. No snow here, so this is good. I could do this. This is one of the nicer things about cruising. We've never been here before. All 74 cruises. And we found something new. And even just sitting here on this bench and looking around at the beautiful scenery and it seems quite clean and quiet. It's very nice. These are the things you get to explore. The good side of cruising. If there's a bad side, this is the good side. I don't hear any cruise director yelling and people screaming. <laughs> you guys, have, do you not know? I'm like, don't have, don't like a lot of noise. <laughs> do you know that? Unless I'm making it. <laughs> exactly. That's why Jane's quiet. Anyway, we're gonna keep moving and see if we can find our beach and our little beach bar. Supposedly something down there, but it may not be there. You never know. And doesn't matter where you are, respect the environment. Let's go. Okay, so you come down and that's this ocean walk path here, past a nice lady. Actually, does some artisan work down there. Maybe I'll stop on my back and introduce you to her if I have time. You come down here and you hit this wall. You gotta cut in across the street. We have to cut in now go around this building and there's something called was it Fred's love Fred's I think there's a restaurant called Fred's and there's a restaurant down here called nacho something and I think we walked down here a little bit then we cut back in let you know in a sec Frederickstead Twin City Lions Club I wonder who the Twin Cities with. 
Here's the Fred. Looks like a hotel. I think you're right, love. Re registration gift shop and lounge. Eat, drink, relax, repeat. I think we want to go down further. Well, let's go back. This is pretty. This is a hotel, I believe. I think there is a nice bar down here you can go to. down the beach here, more access. And you go down that way. And we keep from down there. Nice. Okay, we came out of the Fred, just back here. We're gonna walk up to the corner, take a right. And I think that access to the beach more, and I think there's the nacho type restaurant down here too. That was really cute. I would even contemplate on seeing how much it is to stay there. Oh there, Louis Nachos Beach Bar and Kareem. Right here. Oh, here it is, here. Open every day. All right. Let's check this one, Jenny. Still need to hit the beach. Need a good swim. The smoke and Barbecue Center, Turtles Deli, Princess Passage, Louis Nachos Beach Bar. All right. And these places are so cute. Hello. Not right now, thanks. One meat, two meat, three meat. Oh, the nacho bar is upstairs, I think. Tiny little place. Look at these doors. Crazy doors. Let's go in here. All right. Fred's was down there where the orange umbrellas were. There's the ship. There's the pier. I think we still have to walk out the street and go around. I guess we can go this way, love streets over here. There's like a few homeless people around or people that are tired. It's not nice to see. Okay, so the streets over there where we came in, we came around the corner here and got to the same spot I would imagine. Looks like something else over here. This is the fish market. It's like a fish fry, I would imagine. Uh, interesting. All right, that's where we want to be here. Oh, the shade. I found the shade for you. It's, it is pretty stinking hot out. And we come down here, let's see where we're going. I could be totally wrong. Beaches may be no good down here. 